What is the fascination with being tall? Why do you need to be tall? What benefit does having a taller boyfriend in a relationship actually give you? When you're laying down in bed, you're at the same freaking height. Does it matter if they're a foot taller than you? Of course not. And if you can't reach the pantry at the top, buy a freaking stool. What is wrong with you ladies? Coach Greg, and in today's video, what do women find attractive? And it's not all about looks, it's also about what can you do, act, behave, dress like in order to get more women to be attracted to you. And so the first thing we need to address is that women on average are clueless when it comes to what's attractive. They just don't know. Most men find most women to be at least somewhat attractive. In contrast, women on average view 80% of men as below average in attractiveness. And so in comparison to men, men of which they seem to try to look for the good in a woman that they'll say, hey, this is good, I can accept that. Women say that 80% of men are below average looking. Literally, the average is 50%. But women think that 80% of men are below average looking. And so only the top 20% do women feel actually look above average. It should be 50%. They think it's only 20%. And so right away, 8 out of 10 guys, women are going to see as unattractive, that they're below average looking. Another study found that on the dating app Tinder, men liked more than 60% of the female profiles they viewed, while women liked only 4.5% of male profiles. <laughs> and so think of how skewed this is, or screwed up this is. Men like 60% of the profiles they see on online dating, Women like four and a half percent, literally four and a half percent compared to 60. And so in today's video, we're going to watch what women say, how they actually think, how they're going to react to the things that you can do. Does working out, being fit help? What about your height, money, your job, what you're wearing? And so stay tuned. It is an eye opener. Wait to see the comments from these women. And so first up, how much does being fit actually matter? Take a guy, he's a six on 10, but the guy is in shape. How much does that help them on the attractiveness scale? He's a six, but he's super fit. Nine. You like fit guys, don't you? I love yeah. a good fit guy. And so the first answer, you go from being a six to a nine. All from being fit. She loves a fit guy. And so if you work out in the gym, it can in fact make a significant difference in your appearance of attractiveness. Eight. Um, a seven. I'm going to leave it at a six because sometimes super fit is, is too fit for me. Mm, he's an eight. And so many of the women saying the six goes up to a seven, eight, and a nine. But one in particular says, I'm leaving it at as a six because I don't like overly fit guys. Perhaps they're intimidating, but for her, if you're fit, it's not something she looks for. And so what that proves to me is there's someone for everyone. If you want to be fit and you want to date fit people, then do so. But if you don't want to be fit, you're not fit, there's going to be plenty of women out there that don't want a fit guy. He's a nine, but he has long nails. Oh, like a two. I can't do that. <laughs> a two. Ugh. Oh, seven. And next up, you got a hot guy, great looking guy. He's a nine on 10, but he has long nails, doesn't trim the nails. The answer's two, two, five, seven. Six, shocking to me. Never realized just how important it is to have short nails. And so get out your nail clippers because apparently even if you're a really hot looking guy, nine on 10, if you have long nails, you blew it. Mm, these are five things that instantly make a guy so much hotter. Number one, his nails. And so the more I've looked into this, the more I realized just how important it is to cut your nails. To me, I thought it was just girls. They're getting manicures done and getting on their glue on nails and all that stuff. I thought it was a girls thing. But as I'm watching videos, researching, I can see it's not just for the ladies. Guys, you need to trim your nails. He's a five, but he's super stylish and dresses well. A nine. Mm, seven. Six. I don't really care about style. Seven. And so what about the clothes? Having style. You're a five on ten, but you dress nice. What do the women say? On average, you're going up two and three points. Unbelievable. I never knew just how important it was to look and dress appropriately. For me, I'm just throwing on gym clothes, tank tops, you see the stringers, don't care about dressing that way. But if you do in fact want to look more attractive to female, highly encourage you to dress appropriately. He's a 10, but he's short. A one. The guy's a 10. Perfect. Looks like Jeff's side, but he's short. One. One! How dare you? Seriously, how dare you? 
The guy short, he's a one. He goes from being the best looking guy on the planet to a one because he's short. Being a little manly, that I'm unhurt. Really? And so you're thinking, just because the guy isn't taller than you, that somehow that makes him unattractive? What is wrong with you? Whatever happened to their personality, the sense of humor, their styles, all these things. Guy's a 10. Looks incredible. But he's short. One. I'm 5'3". So if he's shorter than me, he's a 1. Okay. But say he's 5'7". Yeah, he'd, he'd be like an 8. And so she wants to clarify that. If he's shorter than me, it's a 1. How tall are you? I'm 5'3". And so if he's 5'2 and a half, half inch shorter, is a one. And yet my girlfriend Allie is an inch and a half taller than me, and yet she's with me. And so imagine if she had said, hmm, this coach Greg guy, not interested just because he's shorter than me. I only date taller guys. That is redonkulous. That would be like me saying, I only date brunettes. Not gonna date someone with blonde hair. Why would I do that? Think of how moronic that would be. Or if I said, I only date shorter girls. I'm not even gonna look at anyone who's taller than me. This makes no sense to me. And so they then clarify, what if the guy's 5'7"? You're 5'3", five, he's 5'7". Five, oh, then he only goes down to an 8. From being a 10 to an 8, the guy's 4 inches taller than her. 5'7", I'm not even 5'7". So if I were a 10, I would be a 7 because I'm 5'6". Yet I'd be 3 inches taller than her. Does that make sense? Absolutely nonsensical. Don't understand why people feel this way. Oh, I'm sorry. I really need tall guys. So, uh, he's like a six. How tall are you? I'm 5'10". Five, five, okay, nine. so if he's shorter than you, yeah. what if he's 5'10"? What if he's the same height as you? Mm, I don't know. He's got to be taller than me. What is wrong with y'all? And so you're 5'10", only date tall guys. What if he's also 5'10", same height as you? Nope, it's a six. What? What is the fascination with being tall? Why do you need to be tall? What benefit does having a taller boyfriend in a relationship actually give you? When you're laying down in bed, you're at the same freaking height. Does it matter if they're a foot taller than you? Of course not. And if you can't reach the pantry at the top, buy a freaking stool. What is wrong with you ladies? Oh, if he's not shorter than me. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4 and 3 quarters. <laughs> so what? say he's like 5'7 or 5'8. He's a 10. I'm going to say 6. Okay, what about he's shorter than you? Three. Okay, and so the girl's five foot four and three quarters, about five foot five, and if the guy's about five seven, so a little bit taller than her, he goes from a 10 to a six. And if he's shorter than her, a three. And so what this literally means is this girl would rather date somebody taller than her that she finds unattractive, a three on 10, than someone who's a 10 on 10 that's shorter than her. Does that make sense? Does it? I mean, what is wrong with you people? So if they're like 5'8", five 5'9", five then they're probably an 8. Okay, and then what about shorter than you? I'm just not attracted to shorter guys shorter than me, so I'm going to go with a 5. And so woman after woman saying the same thing, height extremely important. If you're only a couple inches shorter than me, you lose several points. And if you're shorter than me, well, too bad. Good luck in that. And yet I watched a video with 13 million views, an attractive female saying, I'll never date anyone shorter than her. And she's dancing around doing her thing. And she shows her husband and he's this tall. And so what does that show you? It shows you that if you actually give the person a chance, if you get to know them, then height is irrelevant. You've constructed this in your mind thinking they have to be so tall. They have to be six foot two. When, why? Why do they need to be so tall? What benefit does it give you? It's the same thing as the color of their hair. Yeah, you might find it a little bit more attractive. Prefer blondes over brunettes or redheads, whatever. Small difference. Maybe they go from being a 10 to a 9. I could understand that. Hey, he's shorter. Uh, the 10, he's a 9 now. Or maybe the guy's an 8 and he's super tall and you like that? He's a 9 now. But to go from a 10 to a 1, 10 to a 3, what is wrong with you? He's a 7, but he has a mustache. <sighs> he's a 4. And if it's well-groomed. I don't know that they go up or down for me. They're probably staying around that maybe an 8. And so what about a mustache? Chris Bumstead, Mr. Olympia, he has a mustache. And so what are the answers? In general, they say it's about the same. So as long as you can pull it off, you want to wear a mustache, go ahead and wear a mustache. Just don't be shorter than who you're dating. He's a nine that wears flip-flops. Where do they come up with these questions? How would that matter? This is blowing my mind. That actually matters? Are they going to say it's a 10 or an eight? 
It's flip-flops. Who cares? He's a nine, but he wears flip-flops. Six. Ooh, seven. <laughs> a five. He's a zero. And so what I'm hearing is do not wear flip-flops. Throw out, burn all the flops and never wear Crocs. Never knew that women cared so much. Good thing I'm in a freaking relationship because I'd have no chance at it. I'm sure I wear the wrong kind of shoes. So I don't dress appropriately. I'm screaming, shouting my voice. Imagine if they said, hell, he sounds like a pair from Aladdin. What is he now? And so thankfully, I don't have to date women in the real world today because I don't know what I would do. He's a four, but he smells delicious. Mm, I am a woman of smells. I love smells, so that can bring him up to a six. An eight. Still a four. Next up, the guy sent. He's a four. That's below average looking. He's actually below five on 10, but he smells nice. Wears cologne. Literally, the girls are saying goes up to about a six on average. A lot of them are saying it's the same, but many are saying it's way better. And I'm thinking, what exactly smells delicious? I like the smell of cupcakes and muffins and things like that, food. And so do you just rub yourself in food and not rub it off? I personally don't wear cologne. I don't think it matters. My personal opinion is as long as you're not farting protein farts every day, then they're probably gonna appreciate that, of which I do often. And so in my opinion, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's probably more important that you just don't smell bad then you actually smell delicious. A neutral smell is then you don't smell bad. It's not unfavorable. That should be all that you need. He's an eight, but he never makes the plans for dates. Zero. Oh gosh, a one. I hate that. <laughs> Where do they find these people? This is the same woman that said you go from a 10 to a one if you're short. You don't make plans for dates. You go from an eight to a zero. Really, you're just not a planner. You're busy with your job. You do other things. You're a nice human being. You just don't plan the dates. You kind of let your girlfriend plan where they want to go. Hey, hey, you want to go out on Friday night? Plan something and I'll be there. What is wrong with that? Oftentimes women are more planners than men. I know with our group of people, when we're planning events, it's usually Allie that plans for me. We do all that. She doesn't say, oh, you're unattractive because you're letting me plan. And our other friends, oftentimes it's the women that are planning events and we just get together and do them. And so my opinion, why does it matter if the guy plans the date or not? Still an eight, I can make plans. <laughs> See, someone with logic, he's still an eight because I can make the plans. He's a six, but he drives a luxury car. That kind of stuff doesn't impress me, like the material aspect of it. Um, but you'll bump up a little bit, so seven. Okay, this time he's a six, but drives a fancy car. Really, the type of car you drive should make no difference in the person's attractiveness, but hey, let's see, does it actually make a difference in the real world? He's a six. We'll keep him at a six. <laughs> seven. Still a six. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> an eight. And so there you have it. Women actually thinking logically. Just because you drive an expensive, fancy car doesn't mean you're more attractive. And so for the most part, they kept the numbers the same. Happy to see women making sense when it comes to sports cars. And so better advice than spending hundreds of thousand dollars on a fancy vehicle is just to trim your nails and wear shoes that make you look taller. Think of it, it makes much more difference to have trim nails and look at a little bit taller than spending hundreds of thousand dollars on a car. All right, this one's interesting because Allie really wants me to get a boat. And for me, I, I think it's a waste of time. Hardly ever gonna go out. It's a lot of work. You get the dock and all this stuff. You gotta actually drive. And so it's a lot of work. And so the guy is a five, but he gets a boat. Is that gonna make a difference? I just had this one with my girlfriend. Eight. He's a five. It's okay. just a boat. 6.5. A 10. So a five. And so apparently, depending on the girl, if you're really into boats, that it can dramatically increase your attractiveness. One girl said a 10, love the boats. Others, I don't like a boat, don't need a boat. He's still a five. Perhaps the boat smells. I don't wanna go on a boat. And so my advice, just be yourself. Do what you want. Don't buy things that you think they'll want. Don't buy a car because you think it'll make you more attractive or get a boat because you think you're gonna get girls. Do what makes you happy and find a woman that'll love you for you. And so if that means being a manlet, five foot six and a quarter like me, and having to just date shorter girls, then just date the shorter girls. Stop thinking you need to act and be different than you are. There is someone for everyone on this planet. Be yourself and you will attract the person meant for you. Next up, he's a nine. That's really hot but he's following the thirst trap girls and always liking photos from other hot girls. All the girls saying, nope, I don't like that. That makes you unattractive to me. And so my advice, if you're trying to get a girl, once you get the girl, stop liking all the other hot girls photos because your girlfriend's gonna say, ah, it's not as hot as I once thought. Next up, he's a four, but he's rich. Remember the song? 
I'm 5'6, but the money got me 6'5. I'm 5'6, but the money made me 6'5. And so, does actually having a lot of money make a big difference on your attractiveness? He's a four, but he's rich. That's all you know about it. I'll go seven, six. A four. Okay, so he's like a seven. Eight. And so how much difference does it make? Well, all women admitted it does make them more attractive, somewhere between one and four points better. And so depending on the woman, some are gonna find that more attractive than others. Some women are gonna say, that is really attractive to me. I love a guy with money. Others say, I don't need that. I don't need the money. And so it just goes to show you that whether you're rich, poor, fat, tall, ugly, in shape, whatever, there's someone out there for you. You just need to go out and find. Them. Hopefully the video helps. You found it entertaining. Remember to be true to yourself. Be the best you that you can be. Ending it here. Looking for harder than last time supplements? Click the link in the description and use code GREG. That's right, G-R-E-G. -E it's as easy as that. You will get 10% off your order. Don't matter if it's for the cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, 10% off. Please use code GREG when you check out. Also, subscribe and click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Watch the bloops and don't forget gregduset.com. It's my website. You can get coaching and all that on that site. Also, follow me on Instagram, gregduset.ipvpro. And until next time, I am out.